Hello. What are, we, what are we talking about today? Oh, what have you been up to this past week? Stuff. Uh, yes. Fun stuff, interesting stuff. Interesting stuff in Nottingham, obviously all in the lead belt. Went to see the marvellous Mr. Peachy on um, a phase, a painting phase, which if you don't know it, is a very, very chatty, great video site uh, where they talk all manner of nonsense about everything gaming. And so... Uh, Mr. Peachy gave me a one hour, one and a half hour grilling about everything that's exciting and fun and that's going on at Warlord Games. I think he's going live with it on Monday, so keep an eye out for it. There's a couple of good gags in there, and he's very engaging, as you probably know. And there's also, we spoke to oh, probably 10 or 12 of his customers as well who phoned in various questions and queries and observations. Uh, so rather than just talking about Warlord, exciting though that is, we talk about all sorts of stuff, the morality of gaming and uh, um, the um, what a broad church wargaming is on the painting, collecting, researching, gaming, painting, basing, all the stuff that makes uh, this as an exciting uh, hobby. So uh, keep an eye out for that. I'm sure we'll be uh, sharing that link on, on our social media. Oh, right. If we can do that, uh, that'd yeah, be great. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I see you've uh, been painting. <laughs> Always painting. If you're not painting, you're dying. You've got to always do some painting every day. These are new models. They haven't gone out yet. These are in our wonderful Warlord resin. These are Dutch-Belgian, best way of describing them, uh, Dutch or Belgian artillery from the Waterloo period. And uh, two batteries there. Uh, one of them, uh, six-pounder guns and a howitzer there. So that. uh Funnily enough, the Dutch and the Belgian armies were equipped with French guns because they'd been fighting on Napoleon's side up until the um, 1815 campaign. So they arrived in their new uniforms, but with uh, French cannons. And so uh, they'd frequently have either four or six uh, cannon and one or two howitzers attached into the same battery. So we've got our brave boys here, a nice green and red plumes. Um, to give some fire support to the couple of Belgian line battalions that I painted a couple of weeks ago, which I think I showed off. You did. So, um, yeah, um, my Prince of Orange's allies have now got artillery support. This should be coming out very, very soon. Excellent. No problem. Anything else? Yes, I did some Lanschnecks with double-handed swords a couple of weeks ago for my Henry VIII army to try and stand against the... Uh, Jamie Scotts in the Flodden campaign and that encouraged me to get a unit of 24 handgunners or arquebusiers so I bought the, the set of Lanschnecks uh, missile troops and I've got a big block of arquebus now uh, for which to try and shoot down the Scottish Schultrens and uh, the pipe blocks that the, the, the Scots uh, fielded uh, and they're looking good because with Lanschnecks you are encouraged in fact obliged to paint them as garishly as you can, because they were able to equip themselves with whatever clothing they could afford to buy, or plunder, more likely. Uh, so they're a bunch of show-offs, uh, uh, very useful. So it's 24 models. It's a, I might put, split them into two units, but uh, they should be effective on the battlefield. And being mercenaries, they can fight for anybody. Great. Are you going to bring some in to show us? I will. I Great. should have finished them by Thursday. Great. So Great. I'll bring them in, and we'll see how it's going. Great. Well, thanks, you. Thanks for your time. Cheers, folks. Bye.